Brown again from Lake Hickory Scuba. In today's video review lesson, we're going to discuss how we see underwater and what we use to see appropriately at underwater. Let's talk about that shortly. The older we get, our eyesight tends to go away from us, so we have to put on glasses or bifocals or get corrective surgery just so that we can focus and see clearly. Now, the good thing about water is water actually allows things to be magnified. Things appear to be closer and larger than what they actually are when we're underwater. However, with that being said, the median of air and the median of water actually affects our vision to a point where we can't quite focus. Now, if you've ever been in a swimming pool, you're going to open your eyes up underneath under the water and you're going to see general shapes. You can see a person and know that it's a person. If you happen to swim up on a car underwater, you could probably tell that it's a car. What you couldn't do, though, is you wouldn't be able to read what's on that person's shirt, or you probably couldn't read the tag number of that car, because our eyes can't focus between the two mediums. So what we have to have is an airspace between our eyes and the object that we're trying to focus on. And the way that we create that airspace is with a diving mask. Here I have the Mares Liquid Skin X-Vision Dive Mask. Now when I place this mask on my face, what it's doing is creating an air pocket between the lens in the skin of my face, of course, and it creates that air pocket which allows me to focus on what the object that I'm looking at. Now, most masks are going to have a couple different features. This happens to be a framed mask. They also have a no-frame mask. Depends on if you like to travel or if you want to be able to pack it a little bit more tightly. On this particular one, we have the frame. We have a dual lens, which these lens can come out, and you can put prescription lenses in if you need help focusing even more. We also are going to have a mask skirt. This one happens to have two different types of silicone that's been fused together. Makes it a little bit more comfortable. You're going to have a mask strap that helps secure it to your head. The important feature of a dive mask, of course, is the nose pocket. Without this nose pocket covering up our nose and our face, we're not going to be able to equalize the airspace as we go down or as we come up. So guys, that's the dive mask. We use it not only to see clearly, but to truly focus underwater, that's what we use a dive mask for. So guys, check back ne next week for a new video review or a new video lesson. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.